So, I doubt this game is any introduction. You know what it is. It's Terraria. I have wanted to do series on this forever. I'm using the wrong tool. Good start. <laughs> I used to play this game religiously. Like, I have dozens of characters. But I still wanted to do series, even though I've pretty much seen everything in this game. Go away. See, guide. You shoot arrows at things, and then they end up pissed at me. Goodness. There is a ton of stuff to do in this game. So, I haven't even decided what build I want to do or anything, but it's already complicated right out of the gate. Hello. Two things complicate this out of the gate already. Number one. Peaches come from trees, apparently, which just reminds me that I haven't really played this much since 1.4 came out, which like changed a bunch of stuff and added a bunch of stuff to the game. But then there's also the fact that in this game, you can end up with two different evil biomes, pretty much, from the very beginning. Either a corruption biome or a crimson biome, and they're exclusive. You can't have both. You can only have one or the other. Most of the time, I deliberately choose corruption because I'm most familiar with it. I've had a few crimsons before, but I pretty much know nothing about them. I left this one to random chance and go figure for the YouTube playthrough. It landed on crimson, so not super familiar with those bosses. Also, I should probably mention it's been like two years since I've done an actual playthrough in this game. Hi, Acorn. Stuff just falls from the trees now. It wasn't like that the last time I played it. Ow. This is, this is a problem. I don't like being in the middle. Thank you. Jeez. Alright, well, I don't really know exactly how much I have to introduce this game to people or not, because I feel like most people have either already played it or at least heard of it. I don't know, maybe I should just assume there's probably a lot of new people. I don't know. Should I? Oh, whatever. So this is Guide. <laughs> Which NPCs have names that are random, randomly generated. So his is Jeffrey right now. But we all know him as Guide. And he's Guide because he guides you. He gives you help. Now, he's not going to tell me anything that's helpful to me in any way, shape, or form. Except for this. You can click on crafting and then give him, like, this piece says it's material. So I'll give him that and he'll tell me... Uh-oh. I'm kind of in the way. And he'll tell me what I can make out of it. So this is all recipes in the game that use peaches. I should mention that it also tells me what I need to make those. Unbanish myself from the Shadow Realm. Um, first order of business, uh, is to get a house going here. Um, which I definitely have enough wood to do. But... I kind of want to build it right here, so I have to clear up more anyways. Also, it's past midday already. <laughs> he also has a bow and arrow that he loves to shoot things with, and then he runs away. And, you know, well, okay. <laughs> I wish he had that good of a name all the time. Most of the time, though, he'll get something pissed off, and then it won't aggro on him, it'll aggro on me. So let's see. See if he hits this thing without killing the rabbit, preferably. See, now it's jumping, right? But now it's gonna jump left because it's PO'd at me, not him. So he lives just to make my life a pain in the butt, pretty much. It's almost nighttime and we still don't have a house. But the thing is, the thing is, is that, uh, boom, we're safe. It doesn't take much to deter. The small monsters in this game. <laughs> we'll build this up and over to the same point. I will make something a lot more aesthetically pleasing later on, at least to the best of my ability. But for now, I just need functions, so I always build Beginner's Hotel because in the beginning of the game, we're just kind of trying to set up rooms. For NPCs to move into. That's what each one of these are, by the way. I don't meet the requirements for anybody to come in, I don't think. But we will pretty darn quickly. So I'm thinking if I put that there, that should be big enough, right? 
I don't remember. I don't remember how big the rooms have to be. I know they don't have to be very large. That should be fine. That's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. So, now we can check using this tool. Room is too small. Damn it. If that fixes this, it would be very nice. So, all we have to do is move this wall over one block. <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit lazy, which is why instead of moving all of the other torches, I'm just gonna put that one there. <laughs> there. Now it's symmetrical. And I didn't have to work for it. So, for NPCs to move into this game, you need to meet certain requirements. So, a couple of examples, the ones that I'm hoping to get pretty quickly. There is the... Um, the merchant, the nurse, and the demolitionist. The merchant moves in once you have 50 silver in your pockets. The nurse moves in once you pick up a healing item. And the demolitionist shows up once you pick up an explosive. All three of those things I can get pretty quickly. So, that's what I'm hoping to do. Oh, explosives. Sure can. Lesser healing potion. Well, there's the... Nurse, then. I still need 50 silver for merchants. The- oh, oh. That thing does quite a bit of damage to me at this low of a equipment level. You're gonna get stuck in that nook. Yep. I knocked him into myself. I forgot how tense the early game is. I'm used to flying around with wings and laser guns and yes, all of that's in this game. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> Which... <clears throat> so as you just saw, there are traps in this game that you have to look out for. I don't know where that pressure plate was. Oh, there it is. Well, I can zoom in, can I? It's right there. Iron. We get iron. So there's a few different things that can be randomized for a world. Just like the Crimson and Corruption thing. There's also some, like, materials and stuff that are randomized. You can only get one in one world. You have to do another world to get the other stuff. One of them is iron. Iron can be exchanged with lead instead. I don't like the lead stuff as much as I like the iron stuff, though. So I'm very happy to see we have iron. Even though we got Crimson for a bad biome. I just got stuck. <laughs> oh, you know what? I actually need a lot of stone. Because I need to be able to make furnaces. Well, a furnace. Everything crafts instantly in this game, so you don't have to make more than one crafting station. Really, the only reason to is if you have multiple buildings with themes and you just want to match the themes. I normally don't get that fancy, though. I do have recall potions, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of just walked down here without verifying that. So I'm kind of on the lookout for a couple of different things right now. I'm looking for iron. Or if I get super lucky and find something better than iron. There's lots of things better than iron. I should probably also mention that technically we're in easy mode right now. Um, that is only a stage of the world. It is not a difficulty setting. <laughs> But we're in easy mode right now. Basically, it just means we're in phase one of this world. That'll make more sense later. But just for now, gravity's sake, no spoilers. Um, there's a certain boss you fight that will then upgrade the world into hard mode. Which comes with a load more content. Pretty much like one third of the game is available to us right now in easy mode. Once we beat that boss, the rest of the game opens up incrementally, so there's still stuff we have to unlock and other bosses we have to finish to unlock more stuff, but still. And this game has a buttload of bosses. Silver? Okay, that's one of the better ores. Once we hit hard mode, there will be far, far better stuff than silver ever thought of being, but obviously we don't have that luxury quite yet. In fact, if we're hitting silver, I'm kind of pushing the depth a little bit. Things get more dangerous the deeper you go. 
more powerful monsters, scarier biomes. Is that more silver? That's totally silver. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. That's really good. I guess we're going back to the surface. Just in time, it's getting dark. Hold on. It's precious cargo. We're taking that immediately. There was a day and time when you had to build like this flat plane way up in the sky so that they would land on that instead of coming down to the surface. And then just like ride a rail cart back and forth on it to collect enough of those. They seem to fall a lot now. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm out of time. I actually have to go. Um, but it doesn't look like we've made much progress right now. But I promise you, with an inventory like this, we're actually making pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, progress. That's the word I said 30 seconds ago. It's apparently very hard to come up with twice in a row. This game has a ton of stuff to do. This series will be around for a long time, I'm pretty sure. Um, especially since I suck at like the last half of the bosses and those zombies are starting to give me a headache so as always thanks for watching like and share the video if you enjoyed subscribe if you want to see more take care and i'll see you in the next one see ya a very special thank you to everybody on this list for helping this channel keep growing and for making videos like this one possible your support means the world to me thank you so much if you'd like to see your name on this list all the details are in the description below Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.